you can win this 700 horsepower R35 GTR and $5,000 cash. All you have to do is go to the link that's in the description and every $5 you spend at 53supply.com gets you one entry. If you wanna read more, click the link below. Happy shopping and good luck. Um. Yo, bro, Fitman finna be crazy. Yeah. I'm just kidding. These are for my 350Z. Remember a couple of videos when I told you guys I really liked a guitar that my neighbor gave me and uh, I told you I wanted to get one? Well. Since car parts, a big shop, and all that kind of stuff is my job now, I get less excited about that stuff. But guitars, psyched. Look how little, look how little. Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, this is like everything I ever wanted. <laughs> damn, son. Do -do 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 damn. <laughs> I messed up a little bit, but um, dude, I freaking love this thing. This thing is so awesome, dude. Like the satin hardware, the balloon white that was the same color as my SC, the ebony fretboard, the freaking, look at this. Look how weird shape this neck is. I love it. This is honestly my fun, this is the best guitar I've owned. I think. <laughs> Day. I was, I unboxed my AC this morning and I realized there's no way I could do this myself. So I have to wait till Big Strong Man can help me. Also, great luck. Good luck on the R35 giveaway. And for anybody who's asking, we will have more drops. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the first day was like blew me out of the water. We did not expect as many orders. We actually kind of budgeted for like what we did with the Evo giveaway and we sold more. So everything we've done so far has sold out, but also we're, we're making available for pre-order. At this time that you're watching this video, we probably are getting the shirts and stuff printed. So if you see anything on the site that says pre-order, what that means is we just have to reorder the shirts, get them made, get them printed, and then ship them to you as soon as possible. You basically just pay for it and then we make it to order. But most of our stuff is not like that. We carry a lot of stuff in stock. We also have two, at least two more drops. We have at least two more drops with the stuff. So if you didn't like the stuff or if you missed it or you, you know, you don't feel like doing the pre-orders. We're gonna have another drop probably on Monday and then like we're maybe once a week and I have, keep having drops. So anyways, just wanna let you guys know that. But Evo, what we're gonna work on today is the Evo. So I wanna update you guys on a couple things. So for the motor, we've got the 4G over there. We're working with MA Performance and we're about to ship the motor off to them so that they can rebuild it and refinish it and make it to their specs so that it can safely make 800, 850, maybe 900 on a kill tune. Before I send this guy off to the body shop, frame repair, to get it painted and all that kind of stuff. Um, I at least need to mount the rear fenders. If you guys don't remember, we've got the rear fenders and we've got that's the rear fenders and then we got these little guys right here that are gonna end up kind of mounted on. So I wanna let you guys know, I didn't want to wide body the car, but honestly, if you guys don't remember, like look how bad this fender is. It's just absolutely disgusting. So like it's on, I, I don't think there's any saving this. It's just gonna keep rusting if we miss any spots, we are going to make big, very big wide body boy. <laughs> Something that I have not said at all, or not revealed, not talked about. We are going to be debuting my own signature wheel on this car. My own signature three piece wheel. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be incredibly exciting. I also have my three piece wheels and my body kit coming for this guy soon. Uh, my body kit's coming from Russia. Ironically, that's what I was the accent I was just doing, but uh, it's coming from Russia. And uh, we've got the body, we got the body kit, the suspension, the wheels, the tires, the turbo kit for that. So as soon as I get done with this thing and it's off, I'm good to go. I'm probably gonna start working on that, and then either bring my Z back or maybe take the motor out of my Supra. I think we're gonna turn the Supra all the way up first, though, before we take the motor out. <laughs> Wait. Nope. Here. Yes. 
Oh, oh, just straight. Oh, God, it went all over the place. Sorry, Hammer, you kind of got some tetanus now. Dude, it's just so crusty. Ew! Chubby. <laughs> we need to cut at least from here and over. I mean, I probably don't even, I probably don't even need any of this part of the fender. I'm probably going to have to cut all of this to about here. I actually, uh, I'm gonna pause until Delira can come here. I really want him because he's gonna be doing all the molding. Uh, I can definitely mount it, but I don't wanna do it to where he's like, nah, you should've done it another way. So he's gonna come tomorrow and we're gonna get this figured out, but uh, it's just gonna look really good. Dude, this car's gonna be so thick. Boy, she's gonna be so thick. Hey, and let these little tapes be a life lesson to you guys, okay? You are a little piece of tape and this body kit is your life struggles. You alone, will not hold up your life struggles. But if you share and you have other people help you with your struggles, they'll lift you up. You don't gotta carry it alone. Whoo! You do this more than I do, so I'm just gonna let you kind of go at it and I'll, <laughs> I'll be holding stuff for you if you need. I'll hold the flashlight, okay, Dad? <laughs> so this is Jose, by the way, Jose Delira. Uh, he has an Instagram page of Delira Designs. He painted my 33, and I guess that's it so far, but he's gonna paint my Supra as well, and uh, IS300, and all the cars. <laughs> and he also made the custom wing for my sister and all that kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, we're getting everything mocked up for the Foltex, the Foltex kit. Even, I mean, if, even if you buy a real Foltex kit, like most of the time you have to do some kind of work to it. I've had legit kits before and I've had fake kits. Sometimes the, like the, I don't wanna say fake, obviously it's all real, it's, always this, it's all the same materials, but like sometimes this replica style stuff, Sometimes fits better than the real stuff. I always struggle with stuff like this. It's like, I don't know, like where do you? Yeah, you, you would think that this would go like here. Yeah. But it don't. Yeah, I figured it would, but since it does have to come here, and it won't go Yeah. Back, I did see some pictures where I could just stop here, so. Dude, I'll tell you what, guys. Y'all have no idea. This kit looks so, this is gonna be such a cool kit. I don't even really like wide body stuff anymore, but this thing is gonna be so crazy. Do. You want to see how much I can zoom, Jose? This is how much I can zoom. That's it. My, oh, that's my, <laughs> my lens is broken. Hey, at least it records. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> Dude, I, no, it's, I don't care. This floor is so easy to clean, you wouldn't even believe it. So now that is, that kind of gives you a good idea how much wider the kit is though. That's probably, that's probably a good, that's why I yeah. get 20 millimeters. The one thing I think I've learned about wide body, let's say wide body, like even fender, fl fender flares, whatever over the year, people tend to love them unless you watch the said person install them and do them. Cause like the process is kind of pain. It's hard to watch, it's hard to do honestly, especially when you're just cutting up a nice, well, I, this is not that nice of a car because it's got rust everywhere. I have noticed that like, generally speaking, if you see a wide body car on the internet, everybody loves it. But if you watch somebody wide body their car, people hate it. And it's kind of just funky, but I get it. I've started to hate wide bodies for that reason because I've done them before. But a lot of times like it really is functional. It's more functional and it does look really cool. It makes the car look unique. <laughs> you probably you probably don't even mind at this point. You could probably you could probably have a fiberglass scented candle in your house and you'd be you'd be happy. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's all in my <laughs> uh, Okay, so you're just trying to get that to line up now that we've kind of cut it and Yeah. Okay, that's that's nice. So you've been cutting this yeah, piece right design. here, trimming that. So, oh, that's nice. So you got it like really flush. Yeah, it's a lot better. Oh, I just wanted to make sure that this right here maps pretty good, so yeah. I can work this down. Cool. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. Yeah, look at this. Listen to this, guys. Oh, these are rusty. So rusty. Oh, it hurts so much, it's like nails and chalkboard. Okay, there's probably a Black Widow inside this wheel somewhere, so. <laughs> Rhoda, ah. <laughs> they are 
are crappy. I knew they were crappy. He did all this work and put rotas on the car. Golly, bro. Damn, son. But when my wheels are on, they're gonna be so nice. Oh, that's metal, baby. Woohoo! You're good. I'm good? Okay, cool. So just cut along that line and. Yeah. On here. Oh, sick. So it's really just like surface. Yeah, pretty much it's surface on here. It didn't go all the way down. Like so, here. I'll probably cut. I won't go all the way into that line, but I'll probably just cut as close to the actual, as fold, actual fold as I can. Yeah. Dude, this freaking lens sucks, bro. Delirio's coming back tomorrow. Before he comes back, I am going to go ahead and get all of the fenders cut. Y'all's favorite part. You know what? I'm not even gonna film it because that's the worst part to watch, and I don't want you guys having a sour taste in your mouth. What I want, what I want you to taste, is this fat booty, boy. That was not what I meant. All right, Alexa, stop. So this is a new day. Wow, look at that mop. I have been, I decided to just bite the bullet and just say like, go ahead, try welding. All right, now I know this is, you guys are welders out there, you're probably like, oh, that sucks. So I got a flux core welder from my, from my uncle. And long story short, I might even make a video about this, but uh, look. This is my third weld I've ever done. So I'm starting to get the hang of it. Obviously I need to get used to my equipment and you know, I need to get better. I've been doing it for about an hour now. I got a little bit of extra metal from the, from the store today and uh, I've just been literally practicing. I need to give me a table saw, but next I'm going to um, take some of the spare stainless that I have in the garage and try and see if I can weld junctions for an exhaust. Uh, Cause I would love to be able to make my own exhaust. All right, so we are going to the other side now and getting this side mocked up. Got the rusty Fendi cut out, and now we just gotta do the same thing like the other day where you just kinda like mock it up, trim it up, make sure it fits. And then after today, this car will be completely done body-wise for here, and we're gonna take it to Delira, get the frame stuff done, and get ready for paint. A few moments later. That was, um, significantly easier than the other side, I feel like. Because you had to do trimming here, so you gotta do some stuff there, and then you had to do, I mean, you had to do a lot of trimming here and stuff to make it to make it fit. For this, I guess, do you get like a sheet of metal or something and then like readapt it to it, or do you get for, or do you, you're just gonna like panel bond that Probably section? Probably like a sheet of metal. Okay. Just here, and then do the panel nice. bond. Nice. So now that this, all the rusty is, is kind of like gone, you said you're gonna end up priming it and that's gonna prep it so that it doesn't spread anymore. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are gonna wanna know about that, but uh, this thing's gonna be nice. Dude, I, I literally love this kit. This is gonna be killer. <laughs> this is gonna be, this is probably gonna be the coolest car in my collection when it's finished. Seriously. Do you wanna try and get some of the front on, like just to see if it fits? We could probably mess with it a little bit. Let's do it. Alright Evo, you've moved for the first time in a while. This body kit is gonna be insanely cool, but man, this is gonna be, this is gonna be wide. It's gonna be wide, but cool, and man, it's gonna be so, it's gonna be so clean. These rear fenders, obviously gotta do a little more work to them. These need to be pushed in like a decent amount, like that way. I'm getting very wide wheels for this thing, so it's gonna be able to fit those wheels really well. Imagine a huge intercooler in here. Probably gonna have to take all the mesh and stuff out but uh, massive intercooler behind this boy. Before we go today, I do wanna to remind you guys that you guys can win my R35 GTR. The giveaway ends December 31st. So you got a little bit of time. We're, we ordered a lot more stuff to not be in stock and I think everything on the site now is like current inventory. So go check it out. Every $5 you spend gets you one entry for the GTR. Honestly, our clothing is just really sick this time around. And if you need to know anything else about the giveaway, you can go to 53spot.com, see all the entry details. I want to uh, let you guys know that um, I think this is the first video technically that I filmed in November. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, I was trying to keep you guys updated on something that I was going through in my life. Before I say anything, if the idea of going more than seven days without something, like a chemical substance, like alcohol or weed or Xanax, Adderall, you name it, then you are addicted to it. For the month of October, I gave up drinking and it was honestly one of the best things I've done. 
in my life so far. Ever since I was 21, past like five years, especially the past three years, because I was super depressed when I lived in like California, and so I started drinking a lot then. So really the past like three years, I mean, past three years I've had, I mean, I've drank every single day. By no means was I an alcoholic or anything like that, but like I used alcohol as a release every single day to get into this fake world and to like, or at least, <sighs> that's never healthy to do. If you use something every day, whether it's weed or anything that I just mentioned, there's a good chance that you might not realize that you are developing an addiction to it or you might be addicted to it. And so anyways, I did that and I just wanna let you guys know it was the most amazing thing I've ever done. I lost like 15 pounds. You, a lot of you guys noticed that I've been happier, but like I did it and I'm really excited about it. But I wanna encourage you guys too, my 30 day challenge, like I gave it up for 30 days and I'll let you guys know like during the month of November, I've had a drink. I've had, I've had drinks and I've been to like parties and stuff like that and uh, it completely changed my perspective completely about it. And that was the most important thing for me because now when I have a drink, I'm like, ah, I'm actually good. I don't really want any more. And like it completely changed my mind. So I just want to encourage you guys, if you guys are using something every day or whether you're addicted to it or you may not know that you are, or if you're too young to drink or too young to do any of this, just keep this in mind. If the thought of going seven days without something scares you, then you are addicted to it. And I want to encourage you guys, if you guys use something every day, whether you have a, a few beers or some wine or whether it's hard liquor or whether it's drugs whatever it is um, just it's hard it was not easy for me to do it but uh, go 30 days cut completely clean 30 days it changed your life it changed mine and it was yeah I, that, but I just I like to be vulnerable with you guys and, and talk about those types of things because what's the point in me having you guys follow me and and watch everything that I do and if I'm not using the hard things that I go through in life uh, to better you guys. So that's what I want to end you guys with. I'm super excited for the Evo. We're going to get this shipped off next, or we're going to get this trailer next week to the body shop and get everything started on it. I got the corner cleaned up and so we're going to probably put something else back here. I'm going to start working on something else, but uh, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. I'll catch you guys next video. Peace. Hey, make sure you subscribe and watch those two videos in front of you and you can win my R35. Don't forget that. Have a great day. Have a, have a good day.